Good morning, friends. It's Mrs. Carrillo, and today I wanted to show you how to make a bunny craft for Easter or just for spring if you enjoy celebrating the spring because I have seen a lot of bunnies out and about nibbling and munching in my yard. So let me show you what you need. You need a glue stick or glue, whichever you like best. A scissors. I'm using a, a larger scissors, but a child side scissors probably would be better if you're little. And then I just have some construction paper. I've got a pink, which I'm going to use as a background. I've got a white, which I'm going to use for my bunny. I've got some green, which I'm going to use as grass, because my bunny's going to be hiding in the grass. And then I've got um, another piece of pink that I'm going to use for the inside of the bunny's ears and the nose. I also have a black Sharpie. Um, you could use a black crayon or a colored pencil. I just use the Sharpie because it shows up better when I'm demonstrating with the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is, on my white paper, I'm gonna draw some shapes. And now, they don't have to be perfect because bunnies come in all shapes and sizes just like humans. So let's see if you can see my paper. So I'm gonna draw a big circle on my white paper. And then I'm gonna draw two kind of, they look almost like U shapes. And those are supposed to be for the ears. So a circle and then two shapes. And now all I'm going to do is cut them out. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be your way. Your bunny also doesn't have to be done on white paper. I was sort of thinking like an Easter bunny, but you bunnies can be brown, bunnies can be gray, bunnies could be pink, bunnies could be whatever color you want. This is totally up to you. And then I'm gonna cut out my other little ear shape. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so I have the circle and I have the two other little pieces. They're sort of like ovals without the bottom, I guess. Okay, and now I'm gonna glue them onto my pink paper. I think I'm gonna glue them with this side down though so you can't see the line that I drew. And I'm going to put it kind of in the middle of the paper because, as I said, he's going to be hiding in the grass. Glue my ear on one ear. I think I'll stick it under the head. And then I'm going to glue the other ear on. This glue stick's kind of running out, but it should hold up, I hope. Okay, so I have the start of my bunny. Next, I'm gonna take my green paper and I'm gonna make sort of what would look like grass. You can make much more beautiful grass if you want, but that's kind of how I see it. And now I'm gonna cut it out. Cutting this takes a lot of up, down, up, down. I wonder if you're cutting along with me, and I wonder if you know the song. Here comes Peter Cottontail, up and down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity happity Easter day. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Up and down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity happity Easter day. I always love that song. I think of little bunnies hopping around. And even if you don't celebrate Easter, it's a fun song. So I have my grass, my little meadow, and I'm going to have my bunny hiding in the meadow. So let me glue down my grass. Oh. If you're using a gluing brush and glue, it would probably be beautiful too. Okay, so I've left my little bunny's face or his head poking above the grass. Next, 
I'm going to take that other light pink paper and I'm going to draw the same ear shape I did before, just a little bit smaller so it can fit inside my bigger ear shape. So my bunny will have um, pink inside the white ears. And I'm going to cut these out. One. And two. And I'm going to glue them down. Again, I'm using pink, but you could use purple or blue or red or green. I mean, you could do it however you want because it's your bunny. Now, we're going to make a little nose. So I'm just going to cut a little triangle out of the paper. You can always draw it first if you want. There's my triangle. And I'm going to glue it on for the bunny's nose. Maybe I'll move his nose up just a wee bit. There we go. And there's my bunny so far. So now I need to make some eyes for my bunny. And I like to make a circle and then a small circle inside so that he has his little eyes. And then I'm going to add some bunny whiskers and a little bunny smile. And you can make your bunny look however you want. But this is my little bunny for Easter hiding in the grass. Here comes Peter Cottontail, up and down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity happy Easter day. And you could decorate your bunny the same as mine or different. You could put glitter on your bunny if you have it. You could make a little basket for your bunny. You could hide some little eggs in the grass, whatever you feel like. But I hope this is a fun way for you to get ready for spring and for, to get ready for Easter if that's something you celebrate. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and you try making a bunny today. See you later. Bye.